are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, Black and White Sports fans, the year 2024 on Undisputed on Fox Sports. It's been an unmitigated disaster. Now, guys, ever since the departure of Shannon Sharp, Undisputed has fallen off a cliff. Now, Skip Bayless is still there. We'll get into him in a minute. But it's not going well whatsoever on that show. Now, Skip Bayless pretty much invented the debate show. If you guys remember back um, 20 years ago on ESPN, there was a show called Cold Pizza. And on Cold Pizza, there, were, there was actually a segment called First and Ten, which was essentially the debate segment that actually spun off to ESPN First Take. Back in 2015, Skip Bayless decided, you know what, I'm going to leave First Take and go over to uh, Fox Sports and have my own show called Undisputed. And of course, it was um, Skip Bayless and um, Shannon Sharp. And who else was it? Joy Taylor was the moderator. Now, guys, after nine years, Skip Bayless is out at Fox Sports. It is over with, guys. Now, the news drop, um, I believe, yesterday kind of caught me by surprise. But in a way, I kind of expected that uh, Skip Bayless would not last there. Because when I mean, guys, the show fell off a cliff. It fell off a cliff. Now, if you guys remember when uh, Shannon Sharp left after the um, the NBA finals last year. The show went off the air. Apparently because Fox was actually having problems finding anyone to even work with Skip Bayless. Eventually they came back. And it hasn't been the same since. It's been a disaster, guys. Now, Shannon Sharp, he's actually doing quite well over there on first take with um, Stephen A. Smith. This is the end of an era, guys. Now, I don't think that Skip Bayless is necessarily going to um, disappear. When I think of Skip Bayless, I don't think of retirement. I believe he also still has his own uh, YouTube channel as well. So he'll be independent, I believe, for now. But it definitely seems like no company wants Skip Bayless right now. Let's get into it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And you guys can also support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com or supporting us on Locals for just $5 a month. Links are in the description. Here we go, guys. Check this out. This is on the New York Post here. Skip Bayless leaving Undisputed in FS1 bombshell. It's over, man. Now, the show apparently is going to continue on. But as bad as the ratings are, man, I don't know how this show survives. But it says here, it is the end of an era on FS1. Skip Bayless is leaving his role as co-hosts of Undisputed at the network after eight years. The Post has learned. His final show will be later this summer. Baylor's referred to the Post, referred the Post to uh, Fox Sports PR, which declined to comment. Man. It is the second consecutive summer that one of the pillars of the program has departed, as Shannon Sharp left following the NBA Finals last year. The new iteration, which featured a rotating group of panelists with Bayless, including Keyshawn Johnson, Michael Irvin, Richard Sherman, Rachel Nichols, and Paul Pierce, did not capture audiences as successfully as had Bayless and Sharp debating one-on-one -on -one for the previous seven years. Yeah, it's probably, guys, just too many cooks in the kitchen and not enough consistency there as well. Plus, you have no moderator whatsoever. I mean, it's pretty much just Skip Bayless and 
whoever else is uh, coming on, but nobody wants to watch, man. It was going to be an uphill climb as Sharp was arguably as compelling a debate foe as Bayless as Stephen A. Smith had been on first take during his time at ESPN. The show took a couple of months off last summer following Sharp's departure and never regained the momentum. Nope. Dead, man. It was absolutely dead. When it, were, when it returned, the format was a little bit wonky. Instead of a moderator, a role formerly fulfilled by Joy Taylor, Jenny Taft, and Jen Hill, Bayless introduced the topic and then might be the third or fourth person <laughs> to chime in with his opinion. Undisputed ratings were also heard by the margins as uh, Craig Carlton's uh, lead-in show has not yet reached the metrics that first take, uh, first things first, I should say, had in the early mornings before it got moved to mid-afternoon, following the herd with Colin Cowherd. Now look here, guys. It's so bad for Skip Bayless here. Apparently ESPN does not even want him, guys. Yeah. Yeah, ESPN doesn't want him. Uh, look here. This is how bad, though, it is. Because Skip Bayless, by the way, in 2021, he signed a four-year contract extension. He hasn't even fulfilled that contract. Four years, $32 million. But he's done. I'm assuming next month, Skip Bayless is going to um, leave. Look at this, guys. Right here. It says the show average. 48,000 viewers this past spring, equaling the smallest audience since the show returned uh, last September following Sharp's exit. 48,000. That's awful, man. That is absolutely terrible. Now, look here. It also apparently won't be his, his uh, old stop, stomping grounds of ESPN as Network quickly released a statement to front office sports, Michael McCarthy, indicating the network won't be a suitor for Bayless's talents. Uh, quote, we are set with the current first take rotation and wish Skip the best on his um, future endeavors and ESPN's spokesperson told front office sports. So there you have it, man. That is a wrap, man. Is this the last time we're actually going to see Skip Bayless on Cable TV. Definitely seems that way, man. He's 72 years old, man. And when Shannon Sharp left, man, that was a death nail for him on Fox Sports. And now even ESPN doesn't want him. And we know the ESPN, fears back, was trying to get him to come back with Stephen A. Smith. Skip Bayless said, nah, I don't want to come back. And now... It seems like his career may be over with. It may be over with in the corporate media. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.